Well, I did it again. I found a side hustle that made me $125 an hour. From signing my life away to getting $225 cash in an envelope in a public lobby, it was probably one of the weirdest side hustles that I've ever experienced. So buckle up, stick along for the ride. It's gonna be a good one. I love finding any way possible to make a little bit of extra money on the side. Well, today I think I have found the most weird way to make some extra money that I've probably ever tried. Uh, and I have an appointment here in just an hour or so. If all goes well, I could make like $2,500. I gotta head out now, let's go. Just some quick background for you. This was an acid reflux medical study. So basically this appointment that I'm heading to is the appointment that I needed to qualify for the study. Uh, but there was a guaranteed payment just to show up to this appointment to see if I qualified. So that's where I was going. Nathan? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Clear to Netherlands. Very good. Thank you. So they brought me back and I filled out some new patient paperwork, uh, got all checked in, and then I went back to sit down to wait to be called back, I suppose. But another lady walked in who I found out was from the research place that was running this study. And so she had me also sign a bunch of paperwork. I signed away my life, honestly, because they said there's risk of death for any of these procedures. I was put under. But then after I signed all the paperwork, she literally pulls out an envelope. Let me, let me actually go get it. She pulls out this envelope with my name on it, and then she pulls these out. Well, there's only four here. I already took one, but she pulls out five crisp $50 bills and says, here, count it, make sure it's all there. And I was like in the middle of a lobby with a bunch of other people there. And so it was really, really sketchy. Like these people are looking at me like, why is this guy getting paid? He's about to go back to get an endoscopy. Like what the heck's going on here? Anyway, it was probably one of the weirdest situations. So I just like took the cash and like counted it. It was all there, stuck it in my pocket. And then just a few seconds later, I was called into the back. Uh, for the procedure. Uh, the procedure went really well. You can see this little clip here I filmed when I was just kind of in the waiting room in the back. No phones allowed, sure. And then I was wheeled back, uh, they put me under, and I had the best nap that I have had in a long time. Now, obviously I wasn't able to record during the procedure. I wish I would have turned my microphone on though. It would have been so awesome to hear what they were talking about while they were uh, doing the procedure. But afterwards, I just woke up uh, and <laughs> I filmed a couple clips here. Um, even before I put my clothes back on. I'm gonna spare you those details. You might need some sunglasses or therapy after this, but here you go. Okay, I just got done with the procedure. It is about time for me to get my clothes on and get skedaddling. There is a known phone policy back here, but everything went really well. It's kind of a really funny experience just seeing how everything's working out. I literally just I like, got $250 in cash before the appointment. So anyway, lots of story to tell here. I'll follow up with you guys in a little bit. I gotta get dressed before they start getting like a little antsy since I'm not supposed to record back here. And then I filmed this clip about 30 seconds after I filmed the clip that you just saw. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing, but it's actually what happened. And I just thought it would be so funny to throw it in here. Everything seemed to go really well. It's pretty painless. I was just like out one second and the next morning I'm awake. Uh, so it's been kind of fun, uh, but I do have $250 in my pocket right now, which I'm very happy about. So I'm not sure if everything that I say is gonna come across, come across as coherent. Nope. <laughs> You can totally tell that like my speech is slurred. I don't quite know what I'm talking about. I keep looking over, I'm looking at my wife. And so she was kind of laughing at me because she could tell I was way out of it and I was laughing too. Anyway, just a super, super funny experience. And to be completely honest, I didn't even know that I had this footage until when I went back later to look at it. And I realized I had taken clips before I was like honestly fully aware of what was going on. So after I got a little bit of my balance back, I was able to leave the clinic. And at this point, I just needed to wait to be told if I was going to qualify for the study or not. Uh, of course, I still got my 250 bucks for just showing up to that appointment. It took less than two hours total. Uh, which is wild to me that for less than two hours, I could make $250. What a great side hustle. And of course, you know that on the way home, we did the only thing that really makes sense after you get an endoscopy. Uh, pizza, right? Come on, you know, that looks really good. Don't dog on Little Caesars. I'm a Little Caesars guy. So that was the day of the study. It was a little bit of an eventful day. I had hoped to go to work afterwards, but I was feeling way too groggy and out of it. And of course I could not drive. 
Now, it's been about six weeks, and I've since then found out that I did not qualify for the study, which is a bummer because I would have loved an extra $2,000, but at the same time, good to know that I don't have a problem with acid reflux props for that. Uh, and I did get a free endoscopy, which was apparently something that I needed to get, turns out, uh, which I think has like a thousand dollar value. I mean, they're very expensive to do. So kind of a plus side there as well. And on top of that, I also got a separate diagnosis, which will probably qualify me for future medical studies. I guess I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Probably not. If any of you are interested in doing side hustles like this, where you have the opportunity to participate in medical research studies, get on Google and just start Googling uh, research facilities near you. They're pretty much in every city that I've looked at and you can like sign up for their emails and texts and they'll just send you studies that they're doing to see if you wanna participate. Sometimes they're a little more risky than others. Sometimes they're a little more involved, but you can just sign up for the ones that you want. Uh, and you can oftentimes get paid without even participating in the study like I did. I literally made $250 and am not participating in the rest of the study. No experimental drugs. Uh, the only thing that I did was of course the endoscopy, but that was valuable to me because it was something that I ended up needing. To me, this was like an A++. Free money essentially and free medical care. That's like mwah, chef's kiss, beautiful side hustle that again, nearly anybody can do. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was just a fun one that I thought that I'd film as I went. Like I said, over $125 for the two hours of work that I put into this. And I would honestly recommend it to pretty much anybody just because of how much you can earn in such a small amount of time. If you guys like side hustle content like this or learning about money or personal finance, that's what this channel is about. We do it in a very fun way. So subscribe if you love that type of content and we'll hopefully see you around.